Zendai. <laughs> What's up guys? Today I bring you a head-to-head -head comparison between two portable LED video projectors. So we have the BenQ GS50 versus the XJimmy Mogo Pro. Now both of these are completely portable projectors jam-packed with some pretty decent specs and features including official Android TV, HDR10, autofocus, super bright projection and lots lots more. Now one of them is priced £439 and the other one is slightly higher at £707. And the point of this video is to show you the actual difference between them in specs, features and projection quality and we will be testing various movie samples and some PS5 gaming to see how they both perform in real time use. But first of all, quick look at the specs and features. So both are DLP LED projectors both powered by a quad-core processor, we have the S905Y2 versus the T950X2. Both come with 2 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of internal storage. Both also feature 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. BenQ has Bluetooth 4.2 versus Bluetooth 5.0. Both running official Android TV OS, we have version 10 in the BenQ versus version 9. Lamplife BenQ is 20,000 hours versus 30,000 hours. The BenQ has a brightness of 500 ANSI lumens versus 300 ANSI lumens. Both support HDR and HDR10. BenQ also supports HLG. Both native 1080p resolution. Both produce a maximum optimal screen size of 100 inches plus. Both feature autofocus and auto keystone correction. Furthermore, BenQ has a 2.1 speaker system built in consisting of two 5 watt mid ranges and a 10 watt subwoofer, compared to XJimmy, which has two 3 watt speakers tuned by Harman Kardon. So, can't wait to hear which one sounds better. Also, some extras in the BenQ we get IPX2 splash and dust resistance and it has 2.3 foot drop protection so quite rugged and designed to use indoors or outdoors and finally if we compare the weight BenQ is 2.3 kgs and XJimmy is 900 grams. Now the fan noise with the BenQ when standing right next to the projector is around 39 decibels and if you move back one meter the fan noise goes down to around 36 decibels. And the XJimmy Mogo Pro's fan noise when close up is around 35 decibels and moving back one meter takes it down to around 33 decibels. So first up we are comparing YouTube streaming. The BenQ supports 4K60 with HDR versus 1440p 60Hz without HDR. Both are projecting directly on a cream colored wallpaper. Projection size is around the same 90 inches and as you can see they are both doing a pretty good job. Now I will also interchange the sound so you can hear exactly what they both sound like. Alright so I'm just going to pause it on the lizard as I usually do and if we take a closer look you can see neither lizard faces gets pixelated, both are looking actually pretty good. I will also briefly switch on the light to compare the daytime quality and again both looking quite impressive meaning both projectors are good for daytime use but if you really want to enjoy your home cinema it's got to be in the dark for the best experience. So I'm just going to play a few more trailers to give you guys a better idea. Living out my wildest dreams. Bianca. Rocky. Zendai. <laughs> You got a problem here? Yeah.
welcome to Old Trafford for one of the definitive games in English football. I'm talking, of course, about Manchester United against Liverpool. That was to take the lead, but you have to give the goalkeeper credit. What a brilliant save that was. Can he put them in front? And then there's Roman Reigns, who's fought his way through everything the WWE and life has thrown at him. Never once slowing down or giving up. Roman is a true inspiration to all of us and the entire WWE universe. Now, one impressive feature that you get with the BenQ GS50, and my favorite feature, is the ability to output a Type-C device. So if I plug in a Steam Deck via Type-C, it will charge my Steam Deck, and at the same time, it will project it on the big screen. This means I can enjoy my Steam Deck games anywhere I like. Completely portable, I could sit in bed or even sit in the garden and play Steam Deck games on a home cinema projector. This is an absolute insane feature and one of the reasons why I had to pick up the GS50. I'm just going to quickly compare what you get inside the box. So the BenQ comes with a carry case, a power cable and a power supply. You get a Bluetooth voice remote control, two AAA batteries for the remote, along with the projector itself. And in case you're wondering about the HDMI dongle, you simply slide open the top cover and connect the dongle to the yeah. spare HDMI slot. And you also need to connect the micro USB for power. And the X Jimmy Pro simply comes with a power supply, Bluetooth remote control and the projector itself. We have a similar port layout on both, so one HDMI in, one USB-A, and an audio jack. But the BenQ also has a Type-C port, which can be used for display or fast charging at 45 watts. So that means you can power the BenQ with a fast charging power bank, which is very convenient. But you can't do that with the XGME Mogo Pro, at least out of the box you can't. So there you have it guys, that was my comparison between two impressive portable projectors and I wanted to show you exactly how they perform side by side. Now I played a lot of videos and games to help you decide which one you prefer. Both projectors were set at their default video and color settings and you guys saw exactly how they both performed in all the scenarios. You can of course fine tune the video settings in case you wanted more color or more contrast. You can adjust it to your personal preference. I know some of you would prefer the X Jimmy Mogo Pro and some of you will say BenQ is better. One thing I can definitely confirm is the sound quality on the BenQ is probably the best I have ever heard in a projector so far. It's very loud, it's quite bassy, and it gives you a surprisingly good experience for a small portable projector. Now I really like that the BenQ has a Type-C port, so you can recharge and use the projector at the same time from a power bank, making it more versatile for portable use. Now the XGME on the other hand can only be recharged by the power supply. Another thing I do want to mention is the BenQ did a lot better with dark scenes in movies, whereas the XGME would kind of struggle. Now I must admit, me personally, the XGME Mogo Pro was my favorite portable projector until I tested this BenQ GS50. Yes, I know the GS50 is more expensive, but in return, you're getting more accessories, including carry bag, more features, better and louder sound quality, better rendering of dark scenes, better HDR support, rugged design with IPX2 splash and dust resistance, and lots more. Now, saying all of that, these are two fantastic portable projectors, so good that I had to compare them to each other to show you guys the main differences. You guys have seen the results, now let me know in the comments which one you feel is better and why. Now I hope you found this video useful. Like, sub and follow. Big thanks to everyone who's done that already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.